for you. Hi, can I get three coffees? Yep, so that's how much is that? Yep, so that is $3.50 for a regular and $5 for a large. That's really expensive. Can I get a discount? I don't set the prices, I just work here. Okay then, three large coffees. Uh-huh, and uh, what type of coffees were you after today? <laughs> two lattes and a cappuccino. Okay, so that is three larges, two lattes and a cappuccino. Can I get a name for that order? I've got a, a gift card. I'll take a name first. Oh, Sharon, the silent C. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just confirm, that will be $15 today, but let me just confirm the order. That is two large lattes and a large cap. Could you make one of the lattes extra hot? Okay. <laughs> and the other decaf. <laughs> the first one with one sugar. Okay, so that is one large latte with extra hot with one sugar, one large latte decaf, and a cappuccino? Actually, can you make the decaf latte the one with the sugar? <laughs> yeah, and the cappuccino. The extra hot. Okay. With a double shot. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sorry. System says we're currently at a decaf. Is this standard grind okay? Fine. Change it. But I should get a discount for that. Okay. Sharon, it's a silent C. That'll be $15 today. So let me just confirm the order once again. One large latte, extra hot with. One large lat one large cappuccino, extra hot with a double shot, one large latte with one sugar, excuse me, and a large latte with no alterations. Make the second latte weak. Okay. So that will be fifteen fifty today. Pay it on gift card, correct? <laughs> yup. Okay. I will scan that one through for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, this gift card's three years past its expiration. Can you extend it? No. Sorry, policy doesn't allow for that. Can I speak to your manager? I'm just trying to order a simple coffee. <laughs> well, making things difficult and being very rude to me. Well, I, I am the manager and we work for the cashier and the coffee machine. So if I could just stop. Can you get someone else that I can talk to? Uh, site manager, but you know, they, they don't really come in on weekdays. They mostly do logistical stuff. Well then who can I talk to that's higher up in the chain of command than you? The CEO perhaps? I think she's got more important things to do with her time. Excuse me? Surely there's someone higher than her. The CEO of... I don't think there's anyone higher up in command than her. There must be. The Prime Minister, I guess. <laughs> the Queen. Is this a joke <laughs> to you? Here I am, trying to order a simple set of coffees. And you're here, wasting my time, making things difficult. The customer? is always right, and I'd like to see some compensation. Okay, um, that will be $15 for the coffees today, Sharon. Once I have processed the order, I can begin making them for you. I am sorry we can't give you any discounts today, but will you be paying by FPOS or cash? <sighs> it's pretty stupid that I can't use the gift voucher, but I'll pay with Amex. We don't take Amex. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Here I am, trying to order a simple set of coffees. And I can't. You've been very rude, and I don't, I don't know what to say. Do you want to pay by cash, or do you want to try a different card, Sharon? You know, back in the 80s, staff used to have respect and put their customers' needs first. Here. My husband is a level 9 reviewer on Zomato. <laughs> this whole transaction has been nothing but bad service and disrespect on your end. What's your name? 
There we go. Only 3.4 stars on Zomato. No surprises there. Well, you know, customers are statistically eight, more, eight times more likely to go out of their way to leave a bad review compared to a good one. 3.4 is actually very good. Well, what about this then? This review is from Cheryl72. <laughs> I am absolutely appalled that it took over eight minutes to make my dente half whole milk, half almond milk, decaf, extra hot with vanilla syrup. The staff were unapologetic and served other customers while ignoring my complaints. I will not be returning. What do you have to say about- Sharon! <laughs> I just work here, okay? You know what? I know why every business in your eyes delivers bad service. And no, it's not bad stuff or bad policy. It's because you're a bad customer. Do <laughs> you think I control if we take AMX or what stock ground of? And <laughs> of course it's my fault you spent three years before using your gift card. You know what? You don't get a discount for ordering copies which take more than five words to describe. You don't know what you want when you start to order, but you're gonna take 10 attempts to outline it. You're the problem. For once, just once, try to see it from our point of view. Working for businesses who pay minimum wage or lower, who consistently hire staff as young as possible to work long and stressful hours, preying on the fact that every non-service job requires years of relevant experience. <laughs> Do you know what it's like having to settle for that exploitation? Do you know what it's like working for the middleman who thinks that customers' happiness and short-term profits are the only measures of success? No, because they create environments for people like you to get their way every time. And you keep doing it over and over. And eventually, we get so sick of it that we actually relish the one or two customers a day that have the decency to understand and see it from our point of view. We are not drones who simply work on behalf of you. Shut up!